Hey guys, welcome back to It's Pooja Mahapatra and in today's video, I am going to share you about my experience when I went for my Viva in my first year. Yeah, and uh, believe me, I was so, so, so nervous because it was the first time giving Viva practical together. And as being a first year medical student, it was unbelievable experience and I was like, it was thrilling and I was very nervous as well because I wasn't very clear of the fact like how it is going to be. But in our third internal, we went through all this process that are being done as in the university professional examination. So we were quite aware at that time that what is going to happen. But before that, like before that six, seven months, we were very, very afraid, like, how is it going to be? So it would be very helpful to my past self if somebody would just have gone and say, like, see, these are the things you are going to face and relax. That's how it is going to be. Now, I think that in different, different colleges, different things happen. But at the end of the day, everything is same. So the process begins like the same way as in different medical colleges maybe there are some changes like you know the rooms are not same the teachers are not same and the languages are not same so we use english still like there are very minor changes but most of the things are similar and for that reason i just want to share you how it was for me and so that you get an idea before your examination before you get panic attacks so this is how all the things happen in my first year. I will be talking about the anatomy, which is the most important one. And for DADH, I have made a separate video. You can just check it out there. I am not going to make this video long. So I will try to keep it very informative yet fun. So let's start. First, begin with anatomy. Now, anatomy, you know, it's a nightmare for first year students. And uh, same goes with me. So our anatomy, biochemistry, physiology classes are taken at Sagar Datta and uh, in that hospital we have the academic building and in the first floor it's the anatomy department. So in the first floor it is the anatomy department and in the ground floor you will find the cadaver room and in that room all the practicals are taken but in the first floor we have to go and see all the slides in that department all the microscopes are present in the first half what happened basically was anatomy is a single subject for dental students so it was like divided like for 100 students if i divide like 50 batch a and rest 50 are in batch b so it was like batch a was giving the histology slide examination and batch b was giving the vivas and all the dissecting and the cadaver and like surface marking every single thing right so for example if you're in group a you are going to give the examination on slides so, so there is a line and all the people just stand there and according to the roll number of course and then there is a bell and uh, you are like you are entering in a line and uh, in our college it was like 30 40 slides we had and uh, it was like in one sector there was like five students standing and then another one there were like five students in one part we have five slides continuously and then in the second segment we have another five slides so it was like roll number one to five go and stand there so six to ten go and stand in the next one so it was like that so we were like first called out by our roll numbers before that we have to sign so don't forget don't forget to sign okay there is a paper just don't forget to sign in the paper it's so important if your names are not there in the university examination paper you will be marked as absent because this has this has happened and that students were being called and they just went there and then had to write their name again maybe they were like returning to their home and then they were called or texted in whatsapp and they had to come back and write their names on the university paper so it's not only about examination you have to write your name you have to like like write your name first and then you are instructed to stand in front of the slide without touching the slide and there is a ring like ding and you have to just see the slide okay and then after seeing the slide there are number on the slabs so you have to write the number if you're like for example if you're standing on slab number three you have to write that particular slab that is indicating the microscope you know it doesn't mean that 
if you're standing in the third position of the microscope you will be writing like number one that will be wrong because that is not what is there in the microscope it is microscope number three and you have to write that number three and the features and also what is the thing like for example is hepatic cells then you have to write hepatic cells and the features so it goes like that so another thing to remember is don't confuse with the number just write the numbers properly what is written on the slab behind the microscope or in front of the microscope you have to write it like that not in the individual number that whatever you are going through like two three seconds the ding the bell like ding and then again you have to like shift from there and after you shift person behind you comes to your place and you go to the place of the person standing in front of you so it's like a sliding phenomena you know <laughs> you have to like shift your paper like that and you have to write the features in that definite time and then they will not give you any extra time okay so you have to write you have to like detect write detect write and then ding everything is over like the five slides are over now take the paper so it's kind of like that so after giving that examination you were asked to go to the cadaver room where all the cadavers are present so here what happened in my college i don't know how the anatomy department has arrangement for your college but i can tell about my college so i'm just saying like how i had the experience so that you can relate it okay so the first thing when you enter the cadaver room in the right hand corner we have a place back system where we can keep all our bags and all our stuffs and then after that you have to enter and on the right corner we have all the cadavers so in my first year there were like more than 10 cadavers you know i had also seen new bodies which were like injected so that it does not get fermented so like i had seen like 10 bodies so in the right corner there are like cadavers and in the extreme right corner there is a place where all the organs are just kept okay like heart kidney liver brain everything so that's the organ like visceral department and then coming to the extreme left we had one sector for the radiography and then another sector for the bones and then another like the corner most part was only for brain you know so that was the thing and then when you enter the room and you look in the front in that portion there was surface marking and there was another cadaver so we have to go and there is a place to sit so you sit there and then you are being called with the roll numbers okay it can be from the end it can, it can be from the beginning or it can be from the middle so like this so there is no specific rule of calling the roll numbers so this is how i had given my examination so maybe you are starting from the dissecting part so there were like three bodies where the external was there and uh, she was asking about all the head and neck areas which is our speciality basically and then you shift to the next part and then there is another cadaver line that were for the extremities and uh, also there was abdomen abdominal parts chest parts you know that was there and then in the other uh, cadaver there were like all the hand things you know so there were basically three cadavers and one for head and neck one for the lower uh, extremities one for the like abdominal part also you can be asked about this uh, things okay it has no rocket science you have to know every single thing then after giving that i went to the surface marking part there was another cadaver lying and i and there were like chits so you have to pick up one chit so i picked up i think uh, descending arch aorta and then there was like abir is what we call in bengali but like the holy what what is that called in hindi rang rang jo rang hota hai that is the thing like i we call it abir so that there are like pink or red color ka abir there is a stick and a cotton attached to it so you have to like dip it and then you have to like surface mark it you know you have to like draw like this is the anatomic position of that and then after giving the surface marking examination i was called to the brain section so beside the brain there were like a sagittal section of face i was asked about nasal septum and its parts you have to be very fast you know you can like mm, okay it's not like that like, the, the, there are a lot of students and the teacher and the teacher goes on asking and if you don't know it's like next question next question and you, then you go so you have to be, you have to think very fast and that is the hardest part you know and after that i was called in the radiography section so the x-rays are kept in front of the light then you are being asked like 
there were like three positions of skull you know that very well anterior posterior posterior anterior lateral also there were like knee joints ankle joints it's like a chance not all the students will get the same so yeah that was the extra part and then and then i was called to the bone department and i was handed over the ulnar bone which frankly speaking i was like okay what is that like i was very confident that i will get the femur okay so i thought that i will be picking up that femur but suddenly i don't know suddenly i was handed the ulnar and for a second i was like okay how how to hold it but then i just calm myself down and then uh, I just holded it in the right position and then said a few things about it, whatever she was asking. And then I was also handed over the maxilla. Also, the skull. The skull was there and or like very basic questions were asked from the skull. Maxilla is, I think, one of the hardest because the structure is very abnormal, I think. Okay, so yeah, that was the bone department. And then I was called to the organ, like viscera department and i was like hoping to hold the heart because that was much more easier like this so you know i was handed over the heart i answered all the questions that the teacher was asking and after that i was again asked about the brain part so coming to the conclusion or advices tips and tricks please don't forget to write your name and roll number when it is asked and do check that you have signed it or not whether you have got that paper or not before leaving the college after your exam and before your exam it will be there you should write at that particular moment but if by any chance if it is missed don't forget to do that the second one is time management yeah we know about time management time management for writing the features so like when you see the histology slides you have to write the three or four features write them very fast just to the point not making it long because you don't have the time and then you have the viva answering them as concise as possible don't go much into details if the teacher is not asking you much don't go into the details that will like wear you up into something else you know that's not a good impression if they are asking you more only then give the answers not more than that and not less than that and for that reason you need to stay calm so just stay calm i know it's difficult at that situation i was also like trembling like what will be happening with me but you know at the end of the day when you just enter in the room like take a deep breath and say all is well because you have studied remember that you remember everything but at that moment you will feel you don't remember but actually you remember so you know it's like that the next advice is the anatomic position even if you're able or unable to answer the feature or the characteristic if you're holding the bone in the right anatomic position if you're holding the viscera like the organs in the right anatomic position you are fetching marks and the last thing is anatomy is such a subject you cannot leave anything so anything and everything can be asked you have to be fully prepared for anatomy that is the reason we call anatomy the nightmare of first year <laughs> so yeah that was jokes apart but it's true it's true it's definitely true and i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do don't forget to tell me in the comment section below i love to read your all comments so my last video was about things to know before joining a private college and uh, i want to give the shout out for the people who commented and uh, this is what i thought of just doing from now onwards because you know you people take time to comment and it really means a lot and the first comment uh, which i literally literally loved was by aditya and he said oh my goodness this is just what i wanted to see right now i reside in delhi and trying to go for a private dental college and had exactly this doubts which you just cleared there was a moment when you came close to the camera and exactly felt like a senior was talking in person and giving advice thank you so much so yeah and uh, also shout out to swet kumar shao utsha choudhury rashmika 
so thank you so much i hope that this video has helped you and if it did don't forget to like this video because it helps me to go in the algorithm and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel i saw my analytics and i saw that most of the people are not subscribing but are viewers so please don't do that please subscribe to my channel it means a lot and thank you so much i hope wherever you are you are healthy you are fine and i will see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye and signing off